Hi there, Jill here, Special Needs Mom Talks. Shit, I got so much on my mind. I wonder if any of you out there experience constant interruption in one way, shape, or form. And I know that's just the way it goes in life, but uh, I think as I get older and am more interested in using my mind, body, spirit, and focusing on whatever it is that I'm doing, uh, interruptions really derail me sometimes. And as a special needs caregiver, I think and any human, I'm always going to qualify it because again, I'm, I'm specifying these videos for more for someone in more of a daily crisis mode, but they really apply to everyone because I think on some level we're all in a daily crisis mode, though I think special needs parents are a particular niche that has a lot of uh, daily crises that they're involved with in some level. So the constant interruptions of people just wandering and just saying whatever they want in the middle of what you're doing. And I know that when my offspring were younger, that was kind of the way that we we flowed through our days was someone would walk in, start talking. It didn't matter what, it, what nobody was reading the room. It was just, and I would accommodate it. I would accommodate it. I've accommodated these interruptions for so long that now they're expected. And I'm like, no, I'm done being interrupted. I need to focus on what I'm doing on my my work. And just just not being pulled out of these spaces where I'm focused. What to do? I just don't know. Other than to politely say that I not do not want to be interrupted and keep repeating it. Even though I feel really bad because I guess this is the nugget too. I want to be available on a certain level to hear, to not turn away, to not have a a snap response and because sometimes that will trigger trigger the person that I'm interacting with in my home setting but lately I'm just letting it rip because shit get out of my face I got to do my shit and that's the bottom line I think we need to get to the point where we're willing to do that and risk pissing someone off especially when we're a caregiver or parent or we're never going to ever get anything accomplished so allow yourself some grace when you're pissed off about being interrupted 24 seven. And if you have to live that way and there's no way around it, then gosh, I don't really have an answer for that. I think back when I was doing it, I found ways to be not quite as present as maybe I should have been. So I think that's what ends up happening is you're halfway there. That's what I mean. Don't be halfway there unless you have to be halfway there and then don't judge yourself for it. Jeez, we're all just trying to get through this crazy madness. Lessening the judgment on everything and noticing it all. And uh, it's okay that we get interrupted and uh, it's okay that we're pissed off that we do. And we're going to just baby step forward and do better. That's all I got.